Hey everyone, I'm Lisa, your Broadway fangirl extraordinaire, and thanks for joining me for a very special episode of PNC Broadway and Columbus's Broadway Dish. I am here at the Broadway.com studios, joined by a very special guest, Ryan Lee Gilbert, who's the national editor for Broadway.com. And today, we're gonna be chatting about what's hot on Broadway. So a handful of these shows have opened early in the season. Right. Have you been hearing any early Tony buzz or standout performances that we should be watching for? For sure. So you have Josh Groban finally on Broadway <sighs> in The Great Comet. I love Josh Groban. <laughs> Everybody loves Josh Groban. He's amazing. <laughs> Dear Evan Hansen star Ben Platt is doing something unbelievable yeah. on stage. He's, I feel like he has a ton of Tony buzz already behind him I, and that show just opened. So. I would totally agree with that. Exactly. And Rachel Bay Jones, who's also in Dear Evan Hansen mm -hmm. as his mom. She's a single mom. She has this beautiful song at the end. Yeah. It's really heartbreaking. Falsettos is a big show people are yes. super excited about. Christian Borrell, who's won two yeah. Tonys already. Andrew Rannells, who's been nominated before. Stephanie J. Block is a former right. nominee. Brandon Uranowitz. Lots of people to be excited about in Falsettos. A Bronx Tale, you have newcomers finally on. Then you have like Nick Cordero, who's incredible in it, and people think that he could be a, a standout star for that show. Wow. So lots of, lots of Tony buzz already brewing. That's incredible. So a lot of, we'll see a lot more shows opening in the spring to make it in time for Tony nomination deadlines. So right. what buzz are you hearing? What do you think are going to be the hot shows? Well, I feel like Hello, Dolly. Hello, Everyone yeah. wants <laughs> to see Bette Midler as Dolly in Hello, Dolly. But also you have Sunset Boulevard coming back yeah. with Glenn Close, who's won, already won a Tony for this role. And then she won the uh, Evening Standard Award in London. People are very excited about that. You have Miss Saigon coming back to Broadway, which people are excited about. About Come From Away, which is this new musical. It's a 9-11 themed musical. Um, people are really curious about that. It's had some really good showings up until this point, so people are anxious wow. to see what that you know is capable of. You've also got War Paint, obviously. Right, where you with have, the divas. Right, with the two divas <laughs> as the dueling makeup CEOs warring at one another. Also, you have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Right. Christian Borrell is going to jump right from falsettos into that. So I, that's going to be a good one. So he could be up for a Tony against himself. He could. He could. It would be it, it'd be a first <laughs> time. But you know, if anyone can do it, it would be Christian Borrow. That's amazing. Well, thanks so much for joining of us course. today. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. And thanks for joining me for another episode of PNC Broadway and Columbus's Broadway Dish. I hope you'll join us again next week. Bye. <laughs>